welcome back in this video we are going to launch a web server in the previous video in the previous video uh, this one we turned one uh, one of our virtual machine in EC2 uh, into a web server but this time we just want to go ahead in within the uh, management console we want to start an EC2 and right off the bat we want it to go uh, uh, up live as a web server so we don't want to go first create an EC2 and then log into it and manually do the thing we uh, we want to automate everything so we're gonna see how to do about that let's get started <clears throat> so we are going to click on EC2 again instance so basically we we, uh, we are again running an EC2 but uh, we, we're gonna do a fun part that will create make it uh, a web server right off the bat so we're gonna click on amazon mi linux that we'll be using and we're gonna so we're gonna run another t2 i was just reading if uh, i run more than one if it's still going to be free or they're gonna charge me for the second one but at this point maybe uh, it's not uh, <clears throat> we don't we, we're not worrying about that there is a free trial available of that t4 and nothing else is available as a free one so let's get started uh, next we're going to configure instance details we're going to leave everything just like that uh, for the security group is there a security group somewhere here we're going to leave vpc <clears throat> you know so these are the subnet like uh, subnet is basically imagine uh, we, we will talk subnets and vpc in its own video for for now we're going to leave everything to defaults and i'm looking for this user data this is the, this is the fun part i was talking about so this area user data is basically for your um scripts scripts that you want to run your virtual machine or computer as soon as it comes online and uh, in, in our case we're gonna give it uh, all the commands that we did previously uh, in the previous video on the terminal prompt we're gonna write them down here and when this EC2 will go live it will boot up it will look at this and it will uh, run that and uh, it, it will not run uh, each time it will just run it for the first time so you don't have to worry about that I'm just uh, I just want to make sure that uh, uh, sub group. <clears throat> I'm looking for that security uh, security groups is here so I don't have to worry on the screen so let's get started with the <clears throat> script that we're gonna write in here so this basically tells that uh, run it and then you this next uh, part bash tells that to run it at uh, the root level so this is very important because this uh, uh, when, when the, it goes uh, uh, it goes to run those commands and if there is no sudo like super user you you saw what happened it errored out it didn't go through so we are telling it to go at the root level run run everything and <clears throat> take care of it so next, uh, if you remember the very first command that we did, what we uh, we updated it. So update y. If just like uh, try to remember whatever we did in the last video. So and and you will uh, realize that, or you will you know find that we are doing everything in this script. So we don't have to go do it manually. Next was we, we install the Apache. So yum and install h ttpd hyphen y <coughs> install right and uh, then we started the apache service httpd start and if you remember yeah, at this line we had an error and at the nano line we had an error so this one check config on this is if for some reason the within this time uh, if it re reboots itself it will come back and st uh, turn the patchy on the other part will be cd 
if we remember that we went to this uh, directory HTML <coughs> and once uh, it's in that directory it needs to uh, create that file uh, this time we're gonna use uh, echo because we don't want to go through that control X and enter so we will echo and whatever the text you want it in that file it has to be under double quotes so basically you will write your HTML F11 okay where am I <clears throat> we're gonna write our HTML code HTML and then it was title header let's go with body right away body in the body section let's go with h1 and in the previous one what did we do we, we write uh, hi hello i am imran let's do hello i am aslan and we're gonna close the h1 we're gonna close the body and we're gonna close the html and hopefully this is enough and i'm i've typed everything right so let's go this one this one uh, if uh, this one, this one here is very important basically this tells that echo is the one that's uh, gonna create uh, start writing this and this is put the text before this into this file and we're gonna name it index.html that's it <coughs> and we're all done if I have done everything correctly once this instance comes online and we go to our public IP address we should see a web page that will displaying that will be displaying hello I am Aslan so let's go to add storage we're gonna just quickly go through it uh, you know what it, this area is in from the previous video security settings oh no it's tags um, let's go add a tag name Aslan so for the security one that I wanted to go with the existing one this one the reason is it has HTTP HTTP on and the other reason is that I want to use this uh, one to uh, the next video is coming for load balancer and that's why I'm creating another uh, web server I want to show you how load balancer works for that reason I'm, I'm creating this instant and go that's why so you will basically have a lot better idea how load balancer works if you know uh, if you can see the uh, it in front of it so you can see tcp http is open so our web page will work review and launch let's go review yeah open to the word is saying be, be, because of that uh, port 22 for ssh so that's what that's what this orange thing is you you have used almost all of free linux instance hour for this month for uh, that's why this uh, i'm getting this error message uh, but i'm not going to run this uh, instance for very long maybe a couple of hours and i will turn it off so let's go and launch this and let's uh, go so the key pair that you want to use you can either create a new one you can choose an existing one I'm gonna continue to use this own one private key file second and you have to have access to this uh, uh, keep file so if you don't just like go to AWS and you can see that I actually had downloaded it that's why I'm using it if you have not or if you have lost it or you'd never downloaded it do not use it you will not be able to uh, access that it will be running but you will have no control over it launch instance your instances are long are now launching we get notified of estimate charges so there will be some charge uh, so I'm gonna go and uh, and it's it's inviting me to create a billing alert if you go to my channel we created a billing alarm very early in this course so enable MFA subnet right there so we could so we set up a billing alarm for 10 bucks I'm just uh, gonna go view instances 
and hopefully it's initializing so it's doing its thing let's give it a, even though I tried to talk here and there <laughs> uh, beat about the bush a little bit but it's still initializing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video here it's already past 10, 10 minutes mark all right so it's been good 10 minutes I stepped out for a little while I'm gonna refresh it and see what's happened uh, I have both two and two checks uh, passed so whenever you are having any instance problem make sure that you log into your dashboard and see it should have two and two checked <coughs> let's go clicking on here and getting the public IP address where you are hmm all right there <coughs> scroll too far so I'm gonna open this moment of uh, truth I'm gonna try to log into that it's already started I never clicked uh, press enter let's go and since it's taking time something did not go right yep something is not right so let's go check a few things in there instance so first thing first let's check the security it's allowed meaning that uh, maybe subnet 6f 3f and 235 so make note of these two things and go to your uh, subnets and subnet ID <coughs> subnets right there 63f and route table and it's it is good but this one target hmm vpc vpc i believe was 235 <coughs> and 1d9 looks good internet gateways it was this one right 228 so this is attached to VPC ID 235 now we have to go and see the V uh, is it 235 mm, EC2 235 so everything looks good on paper and it's security wise it's a uh, security group is launch wizard 2 and if we go to launch wizard 2 we see that uh, ET is open so what's going on I'm pretty sure that the script I wrote uh, I made a mistake somewhere in that one and that's why so let's go and try to connect to EC2 instance itself and see if we can find something over there. Connect. Yeah, connect. <coughs> Unlike last night, it's opening in the same browser window. So EC2 is. Uh, Good cd slash bar slash www slash html no such file or directory so that did not run <coughs> so basically the portion of uh, that script maybe i mistyped something there let's uh, <coughs> i'm gonna leave this video as a failed attempt and i'm gonna try to type it again 
let's uh, close this one. 